evening, everyone. My name is Oliver Kaplan. I'm the artistic director of Event House. Um, tonight is really exciting for us. Um, first, because you, our audience, you're in the room and we can look out and see you, and it's amazing. Um, and second, because this is our first hybrid concert with both an in-person audience in Cambridge, Massachusetts, um, and people around the globe watching our live stream on YouTube. Um, many of you in the audience have been watching our live streams the past year, and now you're part of the show. Um, and you can see how it's done with all the fancy camera work. There's six cameras in here and microphones galore. Um, but anyway, I hope, first of all, that you'll join me in giving um, a warm welcome to our online audience um, to let them know that we love you too. <laughs> Before we continue, I wanted to thank um, two people um, behind tonight's program. First is um, our guest conductor, Andy Pease, who travels all the way from Oneonta, New York, where he's on faculty at Hartwick College. And this is actually um, the first part of a pair of exchanges we're having this fall. Um, in just a couple of weeks, Kelly and Wilcott and Anne and Julia and I are traveling to Andy's home turf where we'll be doing a residency with the Hartwick College Department of Music, and we're really excited about that. Um, and then um, I wanted to thank John Weston um, and his team from Futura Productions. John is the genius behind all of our live stream broadcasts, um, and he has helped us develop this incredible virtual concert experience that has been viewed by over 30,000 people in 45 US states and 49 countries around the world. Um, and we're incredibly grateful to the future team. Um, everything you saw last year was at John's studio in Roslindale, and now he has joined us um, on location in Cambridge so that we can simultaneously have um, our in the room audience and our online audience. Um, so thank you, John. Um, and <laughs> With that said, um, just on behalf of everyone um, with Juventus, um, wherever you are and however you're watching the concert tonight, um, thank you for sharing your evening with us, and I really hope that you enjoy the music. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, I did want to say a bit about the program. Um, so we have a lot to be grateful for tonight, um, but it's, it's bittersweet, um, you know, as we return to the concert hall after a year and a half of virtual and outdoor programming. Um, it reminds us of the difficulties of the times that we're in and the ongoing global pandemic. Um, and also, of course, today is the 20th anniversary of the September 11 attacks um, on the United States. And music has an incredible capacity to help us heal and reflect. And so we've curated this program to speak to these two generational tragedies um, and kind of help mark this moment together. Um, so. We hope you enjoy the music. Thank you.
Good evening. Um, before we perform Oliver's piece, um, we have a few people we'd like to thank. Um, I would like to thank Karen and Fred Ryman for sponsoring my position with Juventus this season. Hi, I would like to thank um, Jonathan Saxton and Barbara Fox for sponsoring my position this season and also for sponsoring the live stream of tonight's show, which has enabled viewers from all over the world to watch our concert. And I would like to thank Leslie Jacobson Kay and Richard Kay for sponsoring my position this season. And I would like to thank John Carey, who has graciously sponsored our entire 20 to 20, wait, which year is it? <laughs> 21 to 22 season, thank you. steps, a break of visible breaths, my father and me underneath the blue tree. Blue light spun the circumference of bare branches, electric stars close enough to touch the truth of what it was burned like cold scratch at our lips. He held me high inside the better things blackness and root-bound stars had to share. In mismatched steps we danced, a prayer with no intention, a path in radiating lines, footfall on frost to solitary winter songs, wind and bow. Is there a word? 
That makes wood beat? That makes wood beat. We are and tables where amber returns to cerulean lights and lifts those we've loved how they raised our bodies to the center of the stars where all closures crisp to memories stored dormant in our palms to a body of wood and dark pneumatic stars, spiraling a trunk that holds black soil to the story of how we made myths of lower constellations. Turn. That means return. It comes in finding The space behind memory where love's letters undo into electric stars. Become the things these words approximate.
Hi, everybody. Is it a nice hearing live music again? Yes. It's my great pleasure now to introduce the composer of the next piece, Cole Reyes. I guess I'll do this. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Cole Reyes, and I am so, so thankful to be here with Juventus uh, this evening. Um, the next piece you'll be hearing is a piece I wrote entitled To Be Confident. When I began writing the piece, um, I you know, was sitting in my bedroom thinking about the current state of existence and how we've all been trapped inside for so long. And I was thinking over the past year and a half, you know, what are the things that I'm going to be able to take away? from you know, this time of isolation. And I was thinking about the life lessons that I had been learning. And I, I thought a lot about, you know, as my development as a composer, as well as an individual, the thing that I was learning the most was having to do with confidence. You know, being confident in the music we play, the music we write, the people that we are, the art we create, you know, has such an impact to how we view the world. Um, and so, as you'll hear in the piece, um, it kind of follows our the lovely soprano, um, and the piece moves in a in a progression of you know the soprano voice coming out of this texture that has all of these overlapping asynchronous you know you'll hear melodies that like kind of start in one place, end in another, all over and not really up together. Um, and then over the course of the journey of the piece, you know, it kind of comes to this, this moment of, of conclusion um, that kind of symbolizes that, you know, something, something is different here. Um, so I really, really hope that you enjoy the piece and thank you again to the Juventus New Music Ensemble for, for having me. Thank you.
my goodness, it is nice to see you all. Um, we're going to invite Stephanie up to talk a little bit about her piece, but before we do, uh, I have a few words of gratitude to share. Um, I want to thank Alex Ripley and Ted Steineman for sponsoring my chair uh, with Juventus this season. And we also want to thank um, Carson Kuman for very generously sponsoring this world premiere performance of Millennial Elegy. For those of you who are new to Juventus, um, if you look inside your program books, there's a cool little sheet of paper that says, play it again. Um, and if you let us know which pieces you love on tonight's program, we will bring them back in a future concert season for you. If you're watching online, the link has um, probably been posted in the chat room or will be shortly, so you can also do an online version of it. Um, it's my great pleasure to introduce the composer of this next piece, Stephanie Ann Boyd. Um, Stephanie has a long collaboration with Juventus that we treasure. We've played, I think, five of her works over the past seven years. Um, she's just an incredible compositional voice and also the like most wonderful human being and that, um, that pairing is magic. Um, and we're very proud to have commissioned this next piece, um, Millennial Allergy, and uh, tonight is the world premiere, and um, it's my pleasure to introduce Stephanie to talk about her work. Hello, everyone in the room and, uh, and online. It's really special to be here today. Uh, not only with you all right now in this room and online, but uh, to be in Boston. The last time I was in Boston was, wait for it, uh, November 2019 at a Juventus, for a Juventus concert. Um, so, so this is triply special for all of us. Um, and it's been an incredible honor to have been chosen by Oliver and Juventus to write this piece uh, to be presented on such an important day uh, after such a wild year for all of us. And when Oliver came to me with this proposition, uh, I said, okay, I, I think I need to bring my dear friend Jessica Lynn Sushan, an uh, incredible poet, uh, along, along for this project. Um, Jessica and I have been working together for many years. Uh, I think this is probably like the 15th poem of hers I've set in some way. Uh, but 20 years ago, we were in fifth grade classrooms uh, on the same road, a, mi a mile away from each other, uh, far before we knew each other. So uh, it's been incredibly potent to be revisiting uh, the last year of our lives and also to be revisiting memories from 20 years ago. Uh, for, for this work, and uh, I would encourage you to follow along with her poetry uh, as, the, as the piece progresses. It's, a, it's an intense, tense ride, intense moment, and uh, the piece is a little over 10 minutes long, and close to the end, uh, Kelly here will uh, extend her hand to, uh, to you, the audience, and uh, if you remember the candle that was on your seat, um, if you would flip it over and turn it on when she gestures to you at the end of the piece. Um, and maybe if you're feeling moved, uh, take a, take a, that would be the time to take a moment and uh, maybe close your eyes and send, send some light towards, towards people or memories that have come to you over the last year. So thank you so much. Also, Minjin, Walcott, Joe, uh, Anne, Tom, and Kelly, and Oliver for this really special night. Thank you.
Like a wind. 